discussion. Um, thank you all so much for uh, your support and your comments. Um, thanks for liking this video. I really appreciate that. Um, today I have a special uh, thing in store for you today. Today is my 1992 Gordon. Uh, as you can see, that's pictured in front of you here. Uh, he's got a retro price tag of $14.95. Um, you can see at the top here, he's got his name up there at the top. Um, this box is dated 1992. It says, As Seen on Shining Time Station. It's got a sticker in the front there that says, Made of Wood. Um, some interesting things to note. You can see the coal is completely black. It's painted black. Um, we've got flat magnets here. You can see them in the front over here. Flat magnets. There's Gordon. And um, there are staples on the bottom, but I'm not taking it out of the box. You can kind of turn these boxes over and see them under under the uh, tender. I don't think you can see that in there. Um, <clears throat> interesting thing to note on the back of the box, you can see the SKU number. Uh, it says Thomas Tank and Germ Friends, and it says Made in America. Um, you see it's dated down here, Britt Alcroft, 1992. I actually, I picked this up on eBay for... Um, 50 bucks um, recently. I was pretty happy with that deal and I happened to run into another one at a Goodwill that was unopened. So I actually have two. Now here's the interesting thing. I'm going to bring in Gordon number two over here. You can see them both right there. Um, there are some differences between them. They're both dated 1992. Uh, no dates on the wheels, uh, just the boxes. They both have staples and flat magnets. Um, the interesting thing to note, and my camera's not really focusing here, um, is there's some differences. You can see the color differences. The one on the left has a different color blue than the one on the right. And um, it's kind of a lighter blue. The, the Thomas on the right is a little bit darker. Um, let me see if I can get in here a little bit closer. I want to show you guys something. The windows, you see that window right there. And you've got the window right over here. The windows on the cab are different. Uh, one's a little bigger. The one on the right's a little bit smaller. Um, I talked about the color differences in the color of the paint. The coal, this one's kind of got like a speckled paint. And like I said here, this one's just painted black. Kind of interesting differences. Uh, the paint here runs all the way into the top of the cab. Over here, you can see blue, top of the cab. Um, the domes are a little bit different. You see this dome kind of points out a little bit. Um, <clears throat> The one over here, a little bit flatter, uh, a little bit different run. Um, I noticed the dowel that holds um, Gordon's neck to the train. Um, this one, you can see, is completely circular. Uh, the one over here, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's got a little notch to it. So it's a little bit different run. So it's kind of interesting to see the differences that they made in 1992. It just seems like they were built much better than today. Uh, stuff that you get nowadays. Um, anyways, I wanted to show you guys both of those. Uh, absolutely love my Gordons here. Um, kind of interesting, the differences. Um, just for uh, this video, I'm going to go ahead and move these aside. I'm going to bring in 1992 Gordon and also, let's see what this guy's dated. He's got a 2003, so that means he's probably even more recent because they stopped dating their can or their wheels in 2003 was the last date, and everything uh, current now um, is dated 2003. So the one on the right, I think that's CGI Thomas. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe you guys can tell me. The one on the left is the original 1992 Gordon. Um, man, guys, I got to tell you, I I'm not too fond of the new uh, look on Gordon. <laughs> I'd give it almost a 10 out of 10 on the 1992 model, and and I'm not sure about the new model, guys. Um, you can see this this one, this uh, current new Gordon's got obviously a plastic up here, uh, flat magnets on this Gordon. 1992, he's stapled. Well, he doesn't have staples on the main cab, but he had staples on his tender. Um, this isn't in great shape here. Um, and the coal, obviously the coal in the new one is plastic and jets out. And once again, we've got just speckled paint over here. So Gordon is a it's a pretty cool engine. Um, I want to know what you guys think about him and about this discussion. Uh, did Do you have similar 1992 models or maybe even more you know current models that um, 
are a little bit different um, runs possibly in, in the factory. Just curious. It's kind of interesting to see these differences. I really appreciate um, all the support. And uh, if you look at the bottom of this video right now, you should see a, a, uh, a button that says to subscribe. So if you guys would subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. I'll keep throwing up these videos for discussion. Okay, I, I'm, I'm uh, not trying to brag about any of this stuff. I'm just, um, you know, I, I like to throw this stuff out. A lot of people don't get to see these kind of items because they're very expensive. And, um, you know, I've luckily I've been able to get a lot of this th stuff for pretty cheap. And, and I like to throw it up for other people to see, you know, pictures of the boxes and things that they've never seen before to bring to the discussions up. So go ahead and uh, um, click on that uh, uh, button at the bottom. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe, and I'll keep throwing them up. Okay, thanks, guys. Talk to you later.